Hi there. I'm Dan Bernardo and this is Jonathan Martin and we're with Rose Costumes. Today we're going to be showing you how to put on our Scar costume from The Lion King. First things first, as with all of our costumes, start with the actor in the pants and trousers with the shirt tucked in appropriately. You're going to notice closures at the back here. <clears throat> One snap and it's a very high collar. Three buttons, three elastic loops. Be sure to close all of these. And don't worry too much about any exposed skin. The following pieces are going to take care of that for you. Let's see how high up that fits on him now. <clears throat> Next thing you should notice, turn around. There's some curiously placed buttons. These are for the tail. Two, one here and here correspond to the buttonholes on the tail here. There you go. Turn on that. We've got that fixed firmly to the costume. Now let's move on. <clears throat> Over the seam between the shirt and the pants, we set a corset-like belt. There's big sections of Velcro right in the back here. Set it to whatever width you need for the actor's waist. There we are. And a secondary belt to go over top of that. Go ahead and buckle that for me. Very good. Now over the seams for the wrists, we have these cuffs. Be sure to have the point going up the arm. It says left on the inside. Yes, it does. And fit it securely. Should note, they read left and right on the inside. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Get it nice and secure so it doesn't shift on the body. Good. Now, we have a collar. This piece here has snaps right here as well as a button and loop. Depending on how big the neck of the actor, you can use any amount of these to hold it closed. Jonathan's very thin. So I can use the tightest setting and get that fit on the body. All we need to do now is the headpiece and the costume is complete. Okay. Now the first thing you're going to want to do, make sure the actor has their hair pulled back into a wig cap or ponytail if it's long enough. In our case with Jonathan, this should be fine. As with a lot of our Lion King headpieces, they come in two parts, a cloth cap and then an animal totem headpiece that goes over top. You're going to want to undo all of the Velcro and closures on it so that it's as big and loose as possible to fit onto the head. Simply right to the forehead and pull back to catch all the hair. Very good. You're going to notice several things on this. One right here, chin strap to secure you. And then on the back here, we've got these two straps here. One elastic and Velcro combination on the right and left. They correspond to the Velcro right here. So I'll take the one from the right, bring it all the way over, and then tighten it right there. I'll take one from the left, bring it across and do the same thing. That way it's secure and fastened to the head. There we go. These pieces will cover over and hide that. Good. Now, we have points of Velcro here along the forehead and the top of the head. They correspond to the pieces on our headpiece. You can see Velcro here, here, and three straps. You're going to lay them right across the top. And I start with the head at the top of the head and then lean it into the forehead. I'll 
take these three straps and meet their corresponding Velcro on either side, here and here, and then right on the back. Let's give a quick turn. You can see how the head falls into place. And with that, the illusion is complete. Once again, I'm Dan Bernardo, and this is Jonathan Martin. Thank you for watching our video.